Hello there, I am Mike Russell from musicradiocreative.com. This is a live stream and all this week we've been talking about podcast production and editing tips. Uh, very, very exciting. Uh, here at musicradiocreative.com, we have radio trained producers who can listen to your podcast and make it sound fantastic. Uh, plus, Always, when we're working with you on podcast production, we assign you only one producer for your show uh, so you can get to know that producer and they can get to know you and feedback on the sound and style of your podcast episode. So if you are ready to outsource your podcast production and get it done by uh, one of the professional audio producers here at Music Radio Creative, uh, then head over to musicradiocreative.com forward slash podcast dash production. That's musicradiocreative.com forward slash podcast dash production. And we'd love to help you uh, improve and take the sound of your podcast to the next level. Uh, so in this episode today, I'm going to show you how to record a podcast interview on two channels and why you might want to, why that's important to you. Now, the first thing you will need to do if you're recording anything on two channels is get away from using whatever's inside your Mac or inside your PC, unless you've got a really good sound card. You'll want to get yourself something called an audio interface or a level up from that, a mixing desk with multiple inputs and outputs. Let me give you uh, a few recommendations of my own. I have used and enjoyed for a very long time the Focusrite Sapphire Pro 14. Here it is on the screen if you're watching the video. Focusrite Sapphire Pro 14 it has inputs and outputs, but most importantly, it has a loopback feature, which is very handy for recording guests who come in on Skype or Google Hangouts. So that's one thing, audio interface around the £150 or $200 mark. Uh, but if you want to go a level up, Around 400 British pounds, uh, that'll be around 450 in US dollars, is the mixing desk I use today and love. I just love this mixing desk. It is the Soundcraft Signature 12 MTK. MTK stands for multi-track, so you can record multiple tracks. Very important for this video. Uh, and as you can see here, every fader uh, has its own input and output, which is a really hard thing to find on a digital mixing desk. In most cases on mixing desks, it just gives you one input and one output, literally the whole output of the, uh, the sum total of your faders, as opposed to uh, individual uh, channels that you might want to use and play with. Uh, so this can be done uh, on pretty much any audio interface that has a, a loopback or multiple channel facility where you can plug in different inputs and outputs. Um, but right now I'm going to show you how it works with my Soundcraft uh, Signature 12 MTK. Uh, going over to multi-track then, I'm going to start a new session using my Pro Podcast presets, uh, which if you're interested in uh, still producing your podcast but making it sound better, head to mrc.fm slash ppp and go and grab them. And uh, let me just type ppp there and you'll see uh, different channels here for recording different things. Now, you notice there is a little arrow pointing to the right here and one pointing to the left. We want to focus on the one pointing to the right because that is the input for your channel. And as you can see here, I can drop it down and select any input on my mixing desk. This will be the same for you if you're using an audio interface. So I want to use Analog 3, and I know that is Fader 3 on my mixing desk, which is this here, my TLM 103 microphone. So I'll select that. And then over here on the Skype guest, uh, I've already set it up. I've selected channel 9, which I know is the output of audio uh, from my computer. Uh, this could, of course, uh, the cleanest way really to record a secondary guest coming in from Skype or Google Hangouts is to have a completely second uh, dedicated PC or Mac uh, with a line out plugging straight into your audio interface that you select. But in this case, I'm using a loopback feature uh, to record my Skype guest. Then I will arm to record. But listen to this. Hello, 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 hello. Oh, whoa, that burst my ears. Crazy. Why does it do that, Adobe Audition, in the latest versions? Why does it loop back like that? Uh, let me show you why. Go into Audition Preferences, and you want to head into, I believe it is multi track. And here you've got uh, Enable Smart Monitoring. Uh, so switch that off. And if you switch that off, now when you arm to record, it is not going to loop back on you which is kind of what you want. Again, arm um, Skype guest to record, and I'll show you what two channels instead of one uh, looks like um, when you're recording. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to the podcast. You can see I'm now laying down uh, my audio. I also have Skype loaded up, ready to go, and I'm going to make a test call, and you'll see Skype audio appearing down on the Skype guest channel when I make this call. So let's make the call now and listen. Hello, welcome to Skype call testing service. After the beep, 
please record a message. Afterwards, your message will be played back to you. There you go. And as you can see, my Skype guest is appearing on this secondary channel. This is me on the uh, primary channel. And when I finish talking, I'll get played back. Yes. Come on. <laughs> there you go. And as you can see, my Skype guest is appearing on this. Boom. That worked really nicely. Um, so you've now got two channels. You've got the podcast host. Let's just disable that recording there and the podcast guest here on Skype guest. And if you're using a, a preset template like I am, podcast host and Skype guest, those WAV files are nicely labeled for you, ready to edit. Um, in a video, I'll probably do it, I think, next week. I'll explain the benefits of having two channels over just one channel when you're recording into a multi-track of, say, Adobe Audition or your other editor like uh, GarageBand or... Um, audacity uh it really is good to record uh, separate channels wherever you can for everyone you have on your uh, your podcast so if it's a co-host or someone coming in over skype it's good to separate that all out and i'll show you why uh in a video uh next week on my live stream which by the way next week it is going to be pre-recorded for you okay uh and the reason is uh next week i'm heading off to san diego in the usa to speak at social media marketing world i would love for you to join me there it's uh the biggest conference in social media marketing and online presence youtube blogging podcasting everything covered for you if you can't make it there is a virtual ticket as well and all the details are over at mrc.fm forward slash SMMW. Hope to see you in San Diego.